Good morning, and welcome to What's Mike Doing? If this is your first time here, my name is Mike, and what I do on this show is fix, repair, maintain, and fly both certificated and experimental aircraft. My goal with this show is to encourage you guys to pursue the mechanical side of aviation. But today's show is a little bit different, because today I want to talk about how I made friends in aviation. <laughs> When I first got started flying airplanes about, oh man, I don't even remember, like five, six years ago when I got my license. No, it wasn't even that long ago. Anyways, my memory's kind of shot. So any dates that I give in any of my videos, just take as like a generalization of when things happened. So a long, long time ago in a land not so far away, I got into aviation, <clears throat> but I didn't have any friends in aviation. I had one actually. And that person is the one that I bought this hangar home from. Um, and he actually got out of aviation, which is why he sold me this place. Very odd, I know. However, he was the only friend that I had at the time that was a pilot. So navigating all things aviation by myself was kind of weird. I'm kind of like, I mean, not weird in the weird sense but weird as in it's kind of a eclectic subject so it you know it involves a lot of research on the internet and a lot of figuring things out for yourself and then go and get your pilot's license and searching for um, a CFI to teach me and then finding an airplane to buy it's all kind of complicated to navigate if you've never navigated it before what I very quickly found on Facebook was a local group that had just been started called Flights Above. Flights Above the Pacific Northwest, Fat PNW for short. Um, but Flights Above is the core, ultimately ended up being the core name for a multitude of groups designated by groups of states throughout the United States. But way back when, in 2015, when it was just kind of beginning, um, I found that page on Facebook. And very quickly found a lot of friends in aviation. So flights above in April 30th, 2015, I put a post out when I had my airplane at Spanaway Airport, which is now closed, which is a horrible thing, but I put a post out that I was going to have a barbecue at my hangar at Spanaway. This was a public use airport, and I just, it was a nice, actually I planned it on a Sunday. This is what it said, or what I said. Looks like the weekend is going to be nice. I'm thinking about bringing my barbecue down to my hangar at Spanaway Airport on Sunday for lunch from 10 a.m. onwards. My hangar is midfield and faces a runway. Would anybody be interested in hot dogs and hamburgers? I can bring some extra chairs too. Not a fancy hangar, but it has an airplane in it and that's what matters. Also, I have my six-year-old son with me, so if you plan on stopping by, bring your rugrats with you. <clears throat> I think somebody did bring other kids, I'm not sure. But um, in any case, I had, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, about 15 other people showed up with their airplanes. For a little rinky-dink Spanaway Airport, that was a lot of people. In fact, the uh, manager, Gary, came over and was like, oh, what's going on? Um, we had them all lined up on the grass. We had the barbecue going. And, I made an, and that was kind of the beginning of making a lot of friends in aviation in the Pacific Northwest area. Currently, flights above 
the local membership for flights above the Pacific Northwest, right there, is 11,100 members. So I don't remember what, how many members it was in 2015, but it wasn't that, it wasn't anywhere near 11,000, I can tell you that. And so being with this group for however many years, I've made even more friends. Um, things that we do on that page is we get rides to other airports, we organize fly-ins. I have a fly-in here at my airport every year. Purely bait, organized um, and advertised through Flights Above. And it's a lot of fun. It's how I met, you know, I've met mechanics, avionics techs, pilots, airline pilots. All these people involved in aviation all through Flights Above. And what it did was help me have a path through aviation. It's helped me buy airplanes, sell airplanes. <clears throat> uh, when I first got my airplane at Spanaway, I, I didn't know anybody. And now I know a lot of people. Aviation uh, is a very, very friendly community. Now, yes, there are some not so nice people. Um, even, in, you know, we all have stories of people that we don't really like, but can you really get along with everybody? I don't think so. But in the grand scheme of things, as far as clubs go, or um, communities of people that get together, uh, Flights Above is, is really a really, really cool place. I've met a lot of nice people that will do anything for you, um, especially, you know, anything aviation related. Heck, I had a cat delivered out here once by an airplane from a friend on Fat PNW. So anyway, all said and done, I highly recommend that you get on your computer. If you are in the United States, go to flightsabove.com org I'll put the link in the con or the description you can have a look at that if you enjoy this show feel free to subscribe hit the like button and watch more of my videos and hopefully you'll find that you like aviation too till then see you later